It's time for another episode of everyone's favorite series, it seems like, on the channel, the FIFA 21 Player Rewind. Today, we got one of the most requested comments in Wayne Rooney. It's a fitting one, too, you know, with his basically career over. We're ready to rewind him back to Everton. So here he is. We've put him in the starting 11. He is at Cam. He is 18 years old. Technically, this would be around FIFA, what, 2002, that game when it was released. I actually do not know the rating of Wayne Rooney in these FIFAs. I just could not find it. So we've just kind of given him a rough estimate, you know, in the low 70s. He was a pretty, you know, promising player coming up. So we've given him that with the potential of his highest ever FIFA rating. So this is going to be another big one because he's 70 overall to start. And I believe we started him at like, I don't know. It's something like 92 or 93 potential. So here you guys go. 17 uh no 18 years old 72 overall we've all his positions camp central midfield striker the last fifa rating i could have started him at was like fifa 05 but he was already like in the mid 80s so i didn't want to rewind him to a rating that high i mean maybe we could have that actually could have been fun but like i feel like this series is always about starting players at their low overall when their career was beginning right 6.5 million is what he's valued at season one i, I think we we always have to keep him at Everton or the first club that you stay with, right? It doesn't really make sense to move a player in the first season of the club that they joined. If you guys going to enjoy this one, leave a big old thumbs up. Can we go for like 5K likes? I usually ask for likes on this series. Can we go like at least 5K, 10K? Hell, yo, we get at least like 130,000 views per these episodes. So like, come on, 10K likes. Is that too much to ask, chat? Let's go to the development. I need to stop. Like, I'm so used to live streaming and just calling like people chat, like, any any of you watching this video like saying chat is just like brainwashed in my head from live streaming right let's get started in this player rewind we got to get that pace up man for me pace and finishing you know pace honestly not so much i feel like in this finishing is almost more important because you get more goals and then passing too you get more assists i don't know in simulations how much pace really matters if at all to be honest so you know, actually, let's go for Shadow Striker in your first season of Wayne Rooney. It doesn't get skill moves. It doesn't get weak foot. It doesn't get attacking work rate. So he should be scoring more goals with this. So yeah, here's everything you guys need to know for year one. This is what we're going to be tracking. Well, it's one of these sides. I mean, you guys can see starting rating and everything team. Hopefully in season one, we can get him upgraded to a gold card. I think at least like, God, 77. Because I don't think he's going to start as many like as many games. So maybe 76, 77 would be ideal for year one. All right, boys. Let's get it. Here we go. Simming year one. Let's get this rewind underway. Okay, not much expectations here. But uh, you never know. Sometimes we get surprised in this uh, first season. I'm not even worried about like Everton playing. It's, they're going to have the typical Everton season, I feel like. You know, Everton have done okay in the front this year. Here we go. Carabao Cup. This is yeah, That's the only one that we probably, I feel like, could have won. It's Liverpool again. Right. Liverpool, definitely a team, though, I cannot go to at all. Like, if if even they, even if they offer force, the only way we would be forced to go there is release clause. Even that, I'd probably try to figure out how to get Wayne Rooney off Liverpool, to be honest. Oh, boy. I have a feeling. Let's see. Wayne Rooney, 75. Wow, that's bad. He didn't. He, dude, I guarantee you less than five games, I'm saying. Man, it's funny. Like, players, teams just don't play their youth players, I guess. One goal. One singular goal in nine games, man. No assists either. We need him off this team. Yeah, I mean, Hamas obviously was getting the majority of games at Cam, but like, and Gilfie too. It's like, you would think teams would want to play some youth players, right? Just so they can, like, develop them. It's like, I don't know. Teams just don't care at all. At, genuinely at all when you sim but let's uh make a decision usually this is where i would show you guys an updated look here's where we're at here's the rating here's the goals you guys literally saw we're one goal in 75 overall i don't need to give you guys any damn update let's just let's just get into moving wayne rooney you know as much as i'd love to stay here man yeah nope it's not happening transfer list let's um let's see what we can do with him let's see it's gonna be interesting to see what teams want to offer for a player of his value but that low rated like i feel like we still maybe will only get big teams in that case we'll probably have to do with some sort of a trade offer here here we go first offer wayne rooney don't be a massive club roma oh boy 
I'm gonna say no just because um I mean that's a decent offer you know I mean I'm not mad about that one at all I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say no straight up to that one just because we went there last week in the Gareth Bale episode I, I don't I just don't like moving to the same teams consistently you know another offer but yeah also like to be honest I don't even think we would have been starting there this one interests me Torino it is a trade offer too from them Torino huh Ooh, so we, we've never been to Torino. This could be, uh, yeah, I mean, why not? Like, it, they're not going to win trophies. And with him being that low rated, we're not focused on trophies. We're focused on getting him game time. So, yeah, let's do it. Wayne Rooney to Torino. We've, I've, we've, I've never been there in this series at all. This is going to be an interesting one. I think more of an interesting one, too, just to see if we're going to start. I assume we're going to start, but I genuinely have no idea. Okay, right. They do have a formation with the cam, which is always good. Is that a cam or a center forward, though? It is a cam. You are a center forward. Okay. Um, where's Rooney at? He's up to a 76, which is good. So they have two center forwards. What do you think the CPU would do? Do you think they're going to play the center forward who's higher rated or play the person who actually plays in that position? Because that's going to make a massive difference as to whether, like, you know, like Wayne Rooney plays or not. Because if they play the center forward, it's going to be a repeat of last year. Two other players ahead of us in our position. We... We probably won't play a single game again. Overall, though, I mean, yeah, the rest of the team looks fine. I mean, it's nothing special. It's a lot of 70 rated players, like a few 80 rated players. Let's get in development here. Torino, I'm just interested to go to a different club, you know? Here we go. Let's um keep, I think, I think we just keep firing at finishing, man. Let's just keep going for finishing. Is there any other, no, I mean, Shadow Striker is the only one that gets our finishing up. So I think we can continue to push towards that. Skill moves in a week, but even if I'm not playing the games, does that even really like matter to upgrade? I've never really looked into that to be honest. Okay, boys, here we go. Let's um let's give this one a go. Torino. It's a new club, a new place to grow, and it's probably gonna be another club that we're only at for one year. So don't get used to this. It's gonna be one and done at Torino. Man, the Serie A for Wayne Rooney. Season is over. It is weird, like Wayne Rooney moving to all these different places. I feel like we never have success in the Serie A. And that streak of not having good success will continue. We weren't expecting to win. It would have been nice. It would have... Oh, wow. We actually made a decent run. You know what? Semi-finals. We can't count that towards the overall trophies, obviously, because we didn't win a trophy. But that's low-key successful, man. That's a great run for a team who probably didn't deserve to be there. What am I even looking at this for? They weren't in the Champions League. They weren't in any of the World Cup coming up. I can almost guarantee you Wayne Rooney's not going to receive a call-up for that, though. Let's see. Wayne Rooney goes up to an 81. So, what does that mean? Plus 5? He probably played, right? You you would have to imagine a plus 5 means he had to have played. Here we go. Top, wait, I just saw it. I just saw Wayne Rooney for goals. 9 goals, 3 assists, 37 games. He played massively. Didn't do an outstanding job of having goal contributions actually second top goal scorer you know what for a team like torino i would say that's a successful second season for him right 100 percent i feel like we 100 percent have to call that a successful season for him into season number three we're definitely going to be saying goodbye to the syria we're definitely going to hopefully move to it is actually an interesting one what we should do here because we're at that weird rating 81 in like the low 80s is like you could join a big team probably come off the bench or you could join another medium-sized team start probably not win trophies though do we join the big clubs now and chase glory now or maybe wait it out one more season start at a club and then start chasing the trophies i'm actually not really sure what to do should note too the potential has gone up to um what is it 93 i think we started at 92 and it's only up to 93 so the potential is like it's weird we've never really had this it's we're struggling to gain potential which i really 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 don't like i'm gonna weigh out some well you, you already saw we listed him on the transfer markets i'm gonna weigh out my options here so he's listed we're gonna get offers if i don't like any of the offers i might use my trade early on we've kind of been using that like in the later stages of uh of what we've been doing but i don't know i'm i'm just getting the itch to trade him early to like maybe a team right in that little medium where he will start and they will have a chance to win trophies i don't know if that's possible though transfer offer number one. Oh, another wow oh my god dude he went to torino for like 10 million why is 
Why has it just, the, the, the offers just gone up that much? I don't want to stay in the Serie A, man. Napoli, I'm sorry. I don't want to go there. That's actually like crazy though. The fact that we got offered 80 mil. Oh my God. Real Sociedad. Another, wow. I mean, offer for a lot less. Real Sociedad. Like, it's just tough, man. I can't see us winning trophies there. Again, we'll probably start, but I'm not doing that. All right, here we go. Last offer. If I don't like this, which I, I don't. Again, it's too big for us. They have, they're have, they going to have way too many cams, man. Reject. I'm going to go for a trade offer this season, I think. Okay, hear me out because we haven't been here in a while. Why not Ajax? Let's try this. This is the perfect medium, I think, for us. We go to a smaller league. What are the better clubs in a smaller league? I say smaller league. The Eredivisie is still pretty big. But at least from looking at this, so we have to trade someone for our, obviously, our player. What if we give straight up Quincy Proms? Well, they'll probably want more money. To, actually, no, they'll probably accept it. Quincy Proms straight up for our boy Wayne Rooney. Obviously, we'll have a great shot at Eredivisie. Probably Champions League. No, but if we finish you know, sort of bottom of the group, there's a very good chance Europa League could be winnable. Let's see, though. They first have to accept the offer. We've seen this too many times before. But the team doesn't accept the transfer offer. Player swap, midfielders, Wayne Rooney straight up for Quincy Prompt. To be honest, not really a fair offer at all, but at least we're giving Torino something in return. Of course they say yes. Let's go. Oh, this is perfect. So we've been here before, but it, I feel like it's been quite a while. So yeah, this one does work. Ajax, Wayne Rooney, we know he is most likely the highest rated cam in, you know, may I say a formation that uses three cams. So this is perfect. They will play, I guess they'll play Neres and Anthony. I guess they'll play him at cam. Anthony is right wing and left wing. Oh my God, I forgot to mention this, boys. Oh, I actually forgot to mention this. Oh, it's not it, It's not gonna matter, but I just see Petr Cech sitting here. Okay, right, Rooney in the starting 11. To get Rooney in, I had to revert the squad files to older squad files. And the only old squad files I had in FIFA were ones with icons. So all the icons are in, but all the icons are super old. So they, like you see Petr Cech 79. There, there shouldn't be any icons left that will make any sort of difference but just uh, long story short icons are in the game so that's why petr check is there <laughs> also another reason why dest is still on ajax and not on barcelona old squad sheets so that makes sense too but we're looking good with that being said because wayne rooney should be starting and with that on a phenomenal team that has a chance to win trophies so yeah kudos a player that i've actually used in one of my career modes really really good really really fast a bit of a beast rooney Really, really slow, but he's got that potential. So we're looking good. And that shooting is genuinely perfect. I think this season I'm going to go for passing. You know, he's a cam. He needs to start getting those assists. So let's go for that. This is season three. Season three. Let's let it begin here, boys. This is the turning point. This is where we need to have just the, the best season so far. A good mix of goals, assists, and trophies as well. June has arrived. Oh, man, I'm going to be so... If we don't win the Eredivisie, I'm going to be so pissed. I'd be more pissed if we didn't... Like, if we didn't play and still won the Eredivisie, I'd be fine. Let's just win this, please. Yes. Okay. I got I got way too excited over that. Like, I wouldn't have been that pissed in reality, but, like, it's Ajax, right? If they don't win the Eredivisie, it's just, like, it's something's just wrong. In that final month, though, I didn't see us in any cup finals. But we, okay, I must have just missed it. There it is. We, we get the double. That's for the Champions League. I mean, ooh, we were in, okay. There's a chance that we were in the Europa League. Seven points isn't a very good odds, though. Let's see. Were we? We were, and we lose in the round of 32 to freaking Sevilla. PSG win the Europa League. At this point, I don't care what the rating is. We got two trophies. I'd still assume it's going to be decent. Oh, my goodness, it's at 86. This is, I mean, wow. I'm just a genius moving Wayne Rooney here to Ajax. I'm taking all the credit, man. All the credit's mine. And, oh, they have Philip Lom too. <laughs> Yo, it's so funny seeing the icons in here. Oh my God. That could not have been more perfect of a season. Yeah, I just must have missed Lom though. I mean, 81. Yeah, I mean, this might be the last you see of icons. Cause like I said, they're all gonna be super old. 
I'm sorry if, like, you're mad about that. Like, it does take away from some of the realism, but it's just what I had to have happen. Also, in the future, you're going to see more of icons in this series because I'm going to start to do this series with the classic mod. If you guys don't know what that is, check some of my past videos. It has over 3,000 new icons into the game. Do you guys want to see rewinds on that? Because, I mean, either way, I'm going to bring them to you. But, yeah, let me know which classic players you guys would like to see rewinds on. Season number four. This is another one of those where we're leaving after every season. So, the last year at Ajax, I mean, we could probably stay here and do really well because the team's good. But, I mean, 86 rating. We're up to 95 potential. 21 years old. 34 goals. 11 assists. Two trophies. I love to see it, man. Wayne Rooney just absolutely killing the game this uh, this rewind, to be honest. Let's leave, though. And in these final two seasons, we're going for big clubs. I didn't even realize he's up to an 87. I mean, we're just growing in the offseason. That's absolutely just mental. All right, Rooney. Let's get it, man. Here we go. Oh, this is going to be weird. What club do I want Wayne Rooney to go to? I really don't know. Okay, what route do we want to take Rooney? Here we go. Atletico Madrid, offer number one. Oh my God, he's. I didn't even. I haven't checked Wayne Rooney's value, but they say he should go between 216 mil and 318 mil. That's the price you gotta pay for someone with 95 potential. I actually. Oh, there's Piemonte Calcio too. So we have Atletico Madrid and Piemonte Calcio. Ooh, okay. Um, I think Atletico Madrid is going to be the squad for us, man. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, I'm thinking about this too much. I'm not, not Piemonte Calcio for sure. I do not want to go back to the Serie A. Atletico Madrid. I don't know about this one. Um, I feel like it's, it's kind of been a while since we've been here. I don't know how, how many trophies we could win, though, with Barca and Real. So, this is tough. This is very tough but I'm going to accept. Let's try it out. Atletico Madrid, why not? I don't know why, but I get the feeling some people are going to be mad at me for accepting this. Like, oh, B40, you know, just go here, go here, go to this club. It's, in the end, it's me making the decisions, right? I am controlling the future of Wayne Rooney. So if you don't like it, it's whatever. I've also decided that last episode, we, for a few of the clubs, I like looked at the teams who offered us to see if the, the clubs, you know, had room for me at the position. I've decided I'm not going to do that anymore. We're just going to have to take risks when going to clubs. The only time I'll look at teams is when I'm doing like a trade offer. So I'm, I'm going to stop doing that. I haven't done in this episode again, only for the trade offer. That was the only time that I did it. Looking at the team, we will need a formation change because the team doesn't play a central attacking midfielder. I, I kind of knew that was going to happen going into it. Still have 93 of them. They have freaking Lewandowski on their team, bro. <laughs> That's just... <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's that's just perfect. Okay. Um, I mean, he's 86, but it's still really cool to have Lewandowski on a team. Just, I love him as a player. What do we want this club to look like? Do we want to give it two strikers? Like, do we want it to be a narrow formation? Do I want to just do... Wow, I really have no idea what I want to do. Felix plays at Cam, but I mean, I'll probably still play striker. Just add a position. Let's go for... Let's go for the 4 one 2 one 2 No, you know what? Let's go for a one-striker formation. He might want to play Felix at Cam at that point, though. Let's just see what we can do. So, Wayne Rooney up to an 87. Perfect. Koke will obviously... Do they not have a right winger, man? Does this team not have a true right-sided player? Maybe we don't go for this. Who was playing on the right anyway, though? I guess it was Koke. So, you know what we should do instead? I think this is probably more similar to what they had. Let's just do 4 one 2 one 2 wide. We can throw Guedes out there. I can maybe play Saul at CDM. This is the next thing. This team just doesn't have a CDM, do they? You know what? Two strikers just might not be the move for this team. Yeah, let's um let's change this up then. Let's go for a one striker formation. Let's go for one with the cam. Left mid, right mid. This is it. This this just feels a lot better. Koke just doesn't fit into this team, though. He's just such a weird player, man. He needs to play there. I, I, we can't have him play out on the right or left. Even though it says it's a secondary position, it just doesn't really work for him. I'm liking this team, though. I think this works. Oblak, Menez, Manolas, Lottie. Oh, yeah. Felix up front. Lewandowski coming off the bench. This team can definitely do bits this season. Right, quickly, before we get into season number four, Wayne Rooney, 95 potential. What do we say? Yeah, 95 potential is what he had. Let's 
should we just go all in on pace this season pace and skill moves the weak footer up let's just do that let's get the pace from wayne rooney i think all of his other stats are really really solid obviously minus defending but let's do this season four it has been a sensational start and we're basically almost we're over halfway through this let's just go season four all right we've took a big risk going here because atletico madrid obviously it's going to be tough they have barcelona and real to beat in the league cup and the league in general champions league same with that and every other team so here we go this could be zero trophies or it could be a lot of trophies zero to start barca and real both in front third place man I wonder what those Barca and Real teams look like. They're probably really, really good. Right, Copa de España. This could be uh, the only chance we have. Wow. Where the hell did we lose to Celta Vigo, bro? Champions League. No. Where did we... Th God, man. Uh, let's see. We lost in the round. Is we lost to Ajax. We lost... <laughs> That is like, that is completely my luck right there. Losing to the club that we just came from, man. Wherever we go next year, we gotta, we gotta go for the Champions League. It's been too long since we've won the Champions League in this series. 92 for Rooney. That's plus five growth this season. He must have just had another sensational year. I'm loving this stuff from Wayne Rooney, man. In terms of like trophies, yeah, two so far, both at Ajax. But I mean, look at that. Not as good as last season. I would actually say maybe a bit disappointing only contributed goal scoring wise on average in half the games he played in 50 appearances 25 goal contributions um definitely could have been better super disappointing no trophies as well but it's just the risk you take in going to atletico madrid let's get it season five we need a massive club here it is time boys i mean yo wayne rooney we can't be disappointed this has been successful to say the least and it may not be like the over 100 goals that we've done with you know messi and ronaldo and some icons that we've done it with we only have 51 goals only 19 assists only two trophies but listen man for a cam it's really good and i'm it's not over either i mean we have a chance to maybe get 80 goals maybe get over 40 assists it could potentially happen okay wayne rooney international duty he's playing in one of the international competitions where is he let's go let's get it at the transfer list what clubs could potentially offer for rooney right now oh did i mention 97 potential for wayne rooney i don't know if i mentioned that but he's at 97 potential here we go transfer lamar's release i got scared i thought that said rooney's release clause met and it was going to be like liverpool real madrid what an offer oh he actually has a release clause too of like 500 million not that anyone's ever going to pay that um yeah i'm going to decline that because i'd actually i'd actually like to just uh to leave to leave this club and leave the lead the league i should say next offer it is dude can we can we please go to a new club no i don't want to move to barca i don't want to move to real madrid we're out of this freaking league man maybe i should have considered those because yo okay but i was gonna say are we gonna get any other offer it's freaking valencia oh my goodness then we get an offer for Felix. I think it said Felix wanted to leave the club. I didn't. I actually didn't even look. Did he not play last season? There's probably a chance that he didn't play at all last season since there was no center forward position. Come on, Rooney. There's just no one offering. It's only like, is it only La Liga teams they're gonna end up offering for our boy? Come on. I, I would take like, I wouldn't take a Liverpool offer, but I'd take like a, a United offer. Let's bring him back. Let's repeat the freaking glory days, man. Why not? next club that offers as long as it's not la liga you know what let's make a bet right now even if it's liverpool no matter what club offers next i'm gonna take it as long as it's not any la liga team even if it's liverpool i will accept watch it be liverpool with my luck it's gonna be liverpool okay we're not even we're not getting an offer i want to just like stay on the screen and not cut away just so you guys don't think i cheat or anything here we go wayne rooney give me an offer here it is whatever the first offer was if there's two offers here it's united yes let's go back to united wayne rooney goes let's get it let's do it let's end our career where it should manchester united here we go the legend returns um in the fifth and final season as you guys know we only do five seasons for these player rewinds what's this team about to look like though they have madison so we will be starting this team doesn't have a striker. This team doesn't have a lot of depth to begin with, man. Usually you see like massive benches at this point in a career mode. They got freaking White Naldum. 
Whoa. Okay, hold on. Casemiro should go in. I saw Zakaria. T should go in. You know what? This team actually has loads of depth. I'm not going to lie. Don't have a, a, a high-rated striker. But ever. Oh, they have Gomez. I didn't see him. Oh, man. Yeah, no, this team's going to be good. This, this team's this team's going to be really good. I think they I think they could be sneaky good. Will they compete with Liverpool, though? That's the question. In our final season, we will train still. <laughs> the pace has finally gone up. Do we keep training the pace, man? I don't know what else to train, to be honest. Let's let's actually just do shooting. Let's get, get back to Shadow Striker, where we started. And let's end this thing on a high note. Here we go. Last chance for Wayne Rooney to win the Champions League. Here we go. Oh, boy. Here we go. This is it. I'm not even going to waste your time. Let's go. United. Oh, my God. Wolves. This. I'm done with this, bro. You're telling me Wolves finished higher than I... Oh, my God. Right. Um. What else? It's going to be a, yet another disappointing end, man. The only two trophies we're going to win, you're telling me, are going to be from Ajax. Oh, my God. No. Leon. Oh, we lost to Leon. Oh, my God, dude. Oh. Damn. Wayne Rooney did everything he could. The teams just weren't there for him. 94 overall is what we finish at. Wayne Rooney bags himself. How many goals do we think Wayne Rooney ended up finishing with? 14, man. Low key, such a disappointing end with so much potential this episode. We finished 95 overall, 98 potential, 23 years old, 65 goals, 29 assists, three trophies. Yep, um, not quite where, th three trophies, sorry, two trophies. What am I saying? two trophies total not at all where i wanted to be um but that will do it appreciate you guys watching as always comment section with who you guys want next week i think next week confirmed is going to be an icon of some sort whether it be a fifa icon someone from the classic mod i really want to do talty he's like next on my list but who's next on your list comment section let me know 10k likes we're going for in this one so right now smash the like button before you guys go but with that we'll see you guys next week for another one peace out Go on.